Today I'm going to show you how to make and use XOR gates. You would use an XOR gate anytime you wanted to be able to control a device such as a door with two or more levers. If you'd like to follow along, you're going to need the following components. You're going to need a block type. I use clay, but you're welcome to use whichever you prefer, as long as you can attach electrical components to them. You're going to need levers, redstone, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, and some doors. Okay, let's get started. Since I'm eventually going to need two different XOR gates for my examples, I figured I might as well build two different types. I prefer the bottom one myself because it's a little more compact. However, feel free to use whichever one you prefer in your designs. I'm going to lay out the materials one type at a time. Please feel free to pause at any point should you want to review things. First I'm going to start by laying out the blocks. The top design has six, the bottom design has eight. I still prefer the bottom design because it's more compact space-wise. Then I'm going to lay out the redstone torches. Then the redstone repeaters. Make sure that they're in the proper direction, otherwise they won't work. Now the levers, doors, and finally the redstone wiring. While my assistant demonstrates the use of the XOR gates, I'll explain a little bit more about them. XOR gates have two inputs and one output. You connect things such as levers, detector rail, pressure plates, and buttons to the inputs, and you connect things such as doors, trap doors, rail dispensers, pistons, or TNT to the output. It all depends on what you're building and what you want to do. Now you'll notice in these examples I've got one door being controlled by two levers. However, if you want to control something with more than two inputs, all you really have to do is daisy chain the XOR gates together. You do that by connecting the output of one XOR gate to the input of another XOR gate, like this. This allows you to have as many controls for one device as you'd like. And that's how XOR gates work. If you like this tutorial, Please subscribe, since I'll be adding many more of these videos in the future. I'm also looking for suggestions to improve the videos. Please leave your constructive feedback in the comments section below. 